Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next Nail Art Society unboxing and yes I know I've been talking about um, canceling for quite a while but um, I always forget and then they charge me so so this actually I really love the paper inside of this box it's like a denim look and um, I Oh my God, if I could wear jeans every day, I would. Jeans is like my staple item. I have tons of jeans. I just love jeans. Because if I wish we could wear jeans. Well, I cheat and I wear jeans on Fridays when I'm at work, when I'm when I'm at work on Fridays that I have to work. So, if because I have to wear dress slacks every, you know, office appropriate attire for work. So I have to wear, you know, dress slacks and blouses and cardigans and things like that to work. So on the weekends, Nine times out of ten, I'm wearing jeans or some sort of jean capris when it's warmer or the jean Bermuda shorts, which those are like my favorite. I need to find some more of those. But <clears throat> yeah, so I love, love denim and love the fact that they put, they have denim tissue paper. So the theme for this car for this month is the denim blues featuring Habit Cosmetics. And then on my last unboxing, um... I really like the fact that Nail Art Society does actually watch the videos that people post about their their box because they've left um, a couple um, some comments on a few of my videos as well as joined um, the Nail Art My Polish at All Times community. So I really do like that they're listening to what um, their clients or customers are saying. So that's really a plus in my book because I feel like that means that they are taking at least trying to consider what people think and maybe hopefully improve on their boxes but so again it's the denim blues featuring habit cosmetics and I've never and they the comment that they posted they mentioned that um, they were going to be featuring habit cosmetics in their March box so I had never tried habit polish I went to their site to look at it and they have some de really nice colors so Introducing Habit Cosmetics. Habit naturally strengthens nails with myrrh extract. Myrrh reinforces nails to give them more flexibility without the brittleness you get from chemical nail hardeners. Myrrh is also anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal. For more about this brand or to purchase other colors from this selection, visit our blog. But they don't have their blog um, the web address for their blog which I think is just if you go to their site nailartsociety.com there is <clears throat> a link to their blog from there and this is the March 2014 box um, and so they don't have like a blogger that they're featuring um, the first several boxes they included like a blogger like a profile information about blogger about a blogger that I guess helped pick maybe the items so I don't know if they're doing something different. So again, they're using their like linen bag that has Nail Art Society on it. And um, <clears throat> let me tear into this. And so, so apparently the items that are included are, this is the look that they have. So it's some zippers. And so they included two packs of stickers, which these stickers I actually do like. Um, they are by O Silk, I think that's how you call it. It's 3D nail, nail three D design nail stickers, and they give you a set of gold zippers, and then a set of um, silver ones. And it's just basically they have the instructions on the back. Decorate the nails with 3D nail sticker, carefully detach them, and then give twice paints with coats, with top coat. Hmm. Apply two coats of top coat, <clears throat> excuse me, over them. I don't know who writes this, must be a foreign brand or something, but. So those are, that's the nail art item, which I'm a little iffy about stickers. But, like, if you're someone who likes the look of stamping, um, I do know Deshika Beauty Shop has a plate that has um, these um, zippers on them. So, and I haven't used them that particular design, but I have been meaning to. So, this is a nice way to decorate your nails easily and quickly by using um, those stickers. And it looks 
pretty a lot like stamping so this is the habit natural nail polish worthy of its of obsession the premier polish made with myrrh and it's 11 milliliters or 0.35 fluid ounces so it's not as large as the standard size of most nail polishes which are 0.5 fluid ounces so these are a little small um I can't remember the price. I want to say they were maybe $10 or so. I'm not sure. I need to, I'll look them up and put a little thing down there um, with the pricing. So this is the polish. It's like a nice, almost like a periwinkle type blue. It's a, like a lighter denim color. So this, it's a cream formula. And it has a nice, like, natural wood, like, bamboo top. And here is the logo on top, which is actually very nice. Um, very cute. I do like the packaging. Um, I like the square bottle. Um, yeah, so this won't be an issue with, like, easily storing it in a rack. And this one is called number 03 Bell. B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So what I will do is this will be included in probably my next live swatch video. And let me just show you the formula. The brush seems kind of like normal size. Um, so that's the formula. It looks really nice and opaque. Doesn't have, I mean, it has a slightly different smell. Um, the normal polish. It's not a soft smell by any means, but it's not, it very it smells very similar to regular nail polish, but um, not quite the same to me. So um, again, there's the brush. Now, I don't know about the handle, and this probably will, this will be one that probably will not fit in the shaker because of how chunky the cap <coughs> is. Oh, my FedEx package. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go answer the door. But, uh, so yeah, that's, excuse me, all that is included in the box. Seems like a pretty light box for this month, but I guess for, I guess, 15 bucks. I think this is around 10 bucks for these, the Habit, um, Habit nail polish. And then... The stickers, I don't know how much these, again, this is a brand that I've never heard of. Um, so, I don't know if they're ranging these at like $2 a pack or something like that, maybe. So, for $15 for this month, while I'm um, actually pretty interested in the polish, to try this out to see how well and how opaque this is, um, I'm a little... I was hoping there might be a little bit more, but again, that's just me always. Um, and again, so this definitely will not fit in the, um, I'm trying to see if the cap comes off. And the cap, the outer cap, the wood portion, unfortunately does not come off. So this will be a brand that will not, um, that will not fit in the pros in the as in pro shaker because if you can see in there the black piece it is glued or infused or attached to the actual wood so the cap is not going to come off so again it's just way too wide um, to fit in the pro shaker I don't know if this would be something that um, you might that I would need to um, turn it on its side and then one thing I can tell that I, that's annoying is getting the cap back on like straight it's it's one of those ones where unfortunately you can't take off the top and make it in the right direction so I'm a little annoyed about that so that's how it went back on but nothing that's going to stop me from using it so that is my nail art society kit for the month of March 2014 um, a very very beautiful color cream finish 
um, polished by habit and then two sets of zippered nail stickers one in gold and one in silver so um, a very nice look again this is the um, the very simple nail art that you can create with this which I do actually like that look it's very nice and this is something that you know if you want you're not haven't started stamping these are great options because you can kind of look like you did stamping with these so um, and not the hassle if you feel like stamping is the hassle so that is everything that I got thanks for watching stay polished at all times and what do you think about nail art society is it something that you'd like to try or or a pass um, I'm a little hmm about it um, I do like getting polishes that I've never heard of before because most of these a lot of these brands I've never ever heard of so it is nice to be able to um, to be exposed to items that I'm not aware about um, and then some of the nail art items while stickers seem to be like some of their go-to items they have included some other items that I really did like um, so it's just a matter of where you're at in regard to your nail art supply collection. If you have a lot of stuff already, Nail Art Society may not be the box for you. If you are new to nail polish and nail art, this could be a perfect box because for $15 a month, you get a nail polish and then some type of nail art items some months they're a little bit lighter some months you get a decent amount of things that you can try and some variety so it just varies from month to month so um i don't think it's a bad deal but unless you're someone who's already well into nail art and have already have a you know, a good variety of different nail art items to use. If you're new, I think this is a perfect way to get into it and discover things that you may or may not like by trying out the different things that they include. So it just depends upon where you're at in your nail art journey. If you're a beginner, this is perfect. If you are, you know, like a pro and been doing it for a long time, you'll probably feel like this is not necessarily a good value because you can go and buy, find like at some beauty supply stores or some of those nail wholesale art places, like find sheets of stickers, probably for a dollar or maybe less. So it just a, depends upon what you want to do. And if you're a beginner and you have no clue where to start, this is a good place to start. So Again, thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times. Leave your comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.